Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We vlog every single day, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. And tomorrow. And then next day too. And next day. Alright, now that we're in our apartment, we can officially start decorating and celebrating Halloween in our home, which means Sarah's favorite Christmas Halloween movies on. Right, Sarah? And she's been editing, and I did a ton of work in the kitchen. So we've got all these boxes and bins emptied. That's all towels that I have to fold that we used for packing safety, but we got a preliminary setup, preliminary setup of our, of our dishes, and then all the good stuff, all the good organization, you know. Fun, fun, fun. We're thinking though, why I say preliminaries, we think we're gonna get three, like, chop block, just wood slabs that we're gonna put with like, like 90 degree anchors, three, that we're gonna put like, that basket, maybe this, maybe a nice cute teapot, the, the home sweet, sweet home Chicago, um, and just make it like really cute with exposed storage right there. Since we've got this space is what we were thinking. We were thinking that would be like a nice weekend project, maybe in two weekends, because the wedding is next weekend, that we would do that. And then um, now the work is being transitioned to organizing all this. This is all going to be done today. I vow to it. We think that Evie's found her new favorite place. That's why we're thinking we're going to put the couch here so that it'll be high enough and safe enough for her to look out the window because that's like her favorite thing to do. Okay, so I just finished folding all those towels and... I just busted a bowl. <laughs> you did just bust a bowl. I made like a ginger peanut sauce tomato-y onion stir fry. <laughs> he feels so bad. It's okay, we cleaned it up super fast. I'm done unpacking for the day. Okay, it's okay. Holy Aaron. And we're doing the thing you're never supposed to do, especially if your last name is Brookhart and your first name is Peter or Sarah. We're eating starving. No. I mean, we're shopping. <laughs> you can't stop thinking about eating. That's what you said. Whoa, I've never seen this before. Sarah's so getting fancy with ourselves, finally properly using our pro reusable produce bags. I mean, all these great and all, but there's a lot of plastic, so yeah. we're going to do our best. And this place is real fancy and cool. Never been to a Sprouts before. Thank you, Tabitha and Er, for suggesting it. Yes. I cannot turn down this stem. Yeah. Okay, but we have to transport it home without breaking the stem. Okay. If we break the stem... We're not celebrating Halloween. And when we get home, we're putting on some great pumpkin. Charlie Brown. Plant based buffalo style cheese dip. Cheese What is that? It's like a block of cheese. Wow. Cool. This we have to be, place. this is the thing is we are going out of town, so we don't want to go like overboard. We're just getting like enough to make specific meals. Plant based cream cheese. Wow. This is magical. So this grocery store has these tags that straight up say plant based and makes it so easy. Alright, this place is also assisting us in being our extra green selves when it comes to cleaning supplies and trash bags. Well, even more and so for like chemicals for soaps because we just don't want anything messing with the hormones. And just being good for the environment too. So we got like 7th generation bath tissue, good Sprouts brand garbage bags, so I was putting out some Myers hand soap. All right, there's a famous scene that Sarah and I typically like to follow when any of our loved ones move into a new place. <laughs> and uh, we did it to ourselves this time rather than us doing it to somebody else. And it's from the scene. We put it, we try to find and put it in here if you can. Yeah. Bread, that this house may never know hunger. Salt, that life may always have flavor. Uh, and wine, that joy and prosperity may reign forever. Enter the Martini Castle. <laughs> And so we got ourselves, well, well, me, a bottle of red wine. Salt is for flavor. And then bread, so we'll never know hunger. So we'll never know hunger. And tonight we're having a weird smorgasbordish dinner kind of thing. 
So this is what is on the table for dinner. Some Amy's organic soups. We got a Southwest vegetarian, fire roasted, and chunky vegetable. And we got the plant-based buffalo style dip. Then we're gonna have some grapes and fruits as well. And the plant-based pepperoni. Oh, and the plant-based pepperoni. Right. We tried it on the way home. It's as weird as you'd expect plant-based pepperoni to be. Here are my shoes. For the wedding. You're gonna try those on later after dinner, right? Yes. All right. How it, you tried? It's really good. The buffalo dip. How is mm -hmm. it? Really good. It kind of it tastes very similar to the other cheese one, but it just has like the buffalo zing to it. Oh. How's your soup? I haven't tried it yet. But I'm pumped too. <laughs> this is such a weird dinner. Uh, soup, <laughs> chips, buffalo style queso, fake pepperoni. I got this like healthy energy drink and it doesn't have it's all plant based yeah it doesn't like most of them have like the warnings like don't drink it pregnant but this doesn't have more like anything. a fancy juice yeah we we forgot to grab like the fall smelling candles when we were out and that was like the one true thing we wanted to do okay. i'm gonna do is i'm gonna light our fancy display here and get rid of this let's be honest sarah we had a little moment in the car earlier didn't we we... What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we were in the car earlier talking about everything we got going on because we still have a super busy week. The and we wedding. leave on Thursday. It's not like, oh, we have this whole week and then we leave on the weekend. Like, No, we leave Thursday three days. morning. Um, and like Sarah's got this huge project that she needs to work on and she needs to finish because it's due by the end of the month and then we have to pay off our cruise next month. And IVF's going on. That's like mentally, physically, and emotionally tolling. Plus a brand new apartment that we want to like get situated because, like, we like our home to be our place of peace. And yeah. so when there's just things everywhere, we need a, there's things everywhere. We need a couch. We need a bed. We need yeah. bedside tables. We need to organize the kitchen stuff. So like we had a lot going on. So like for a hot second there, we were driving around doing running errands. I was like, should we suspend the vlog for like two or three weeks? Um, cause and I was, was like, silent. I can't take off. I can't take IVF from Sarah's shoulders. I can't take the work and stress of the, the design job she, she's working on. Cause that's her. I was like, I could take on the vlog and edit the vlog at night, but I don't know if that's realistic with everything else we have going on. Yeah. So for a hot second there, I truly thought for a minute, like driving around winter park or running our errands, I was like, we're gonna, we're gonna stop this vlog for two weeks. The other thing is that we genuinely love going to Disney and out each night because it's good for our souls. Like, we love it so much. And so, we haven't been out and I feel like that is also weighing on us. Like, I, I just feel like that is our breath of fresh air that is really good for us. Rejuvenating. Yeah. And so I was kind of like, I don't want to stop going out and doing but we have other things that we have to prioritize so well, and i don't think that's what we meant when we said we would suspend the vlog potentially like we would yeah. still end up going out we just wouldn't vlog about it because that's four hours a day at sarah works yeah on the vlog that that's where the savings would be not like oh we're tired we don't want to go out we would still be going out like yeah. we would threat like we don't we don't do what we do for the vlog we vlog what we're doing after all of that i've we've come to terms with the fact that the house is not going to be perfect before we leave. Mm -hmm. We are going to get it situated so that we feel good, mm -hmm. but we're not going to spend the next three days perfecting it. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna keep up the vlog unless tomorrow I feel otherwise, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna kind of see how things go. And that is, <laughs> that is what happened this afternoon. <laughs> so the rest of today we're gonna get, Sarah's gonna get kind of the fall Halloween-y decorations out and make it feel extra because we've been also missing that aspect of of decorating at home, but we were at Katie's and Eddie's. So now that we're home, we're gonna get those out. I'm gonna put away some of the towels and knock out a few other items that are on the list still just to get really today to be productive because we're gonna go to the parks Yeah. tomorrow. So basically we're prioritizing me working as much as possible before we go. So that's not in the back of my mind. And our sanity check. And our sanity check by continuing to go out in the evening and sacrificing just a little bit of put togetherness at home. Yeah. Just for three days. So let's get to decorate. <laughs> Look at it. Look who it is. He's back and he's ready for fall. Put a comment down below if you remember this wonderful squirrel from last year. Wait, he's not going there. And the year before? Yeah, we've had him since he lived in Chicago. It is Rupert the fall squirrel. 
This is not his home. He will light on fire if I let him sit there any longer. Sarah's going to find an appropriate home for him, but welcome Rupert back to the vlog. He will be in the vlog every single day between now and Christmas decorating. 12 o'clock midnight. We're just watching some bucket list family. We're going to do an updated tour. I found a place for Rupert. He's peeking over. He's nice and safe. No fire. Yeah, no fire. I'm bringing this to my desk tomorrow morning. Nice. Got a Mr. Bones key holder. So we're kind of going like fall and Halloween. This will probably only last until October. But I like apples. We gotta get some like vegan caramels if that's a thing to put in here. This is the beginning of our plants. Yeah, our We're gonna try to find like display. a 30 set of the same kind of glass <laughs> jars so that I can have this entire thing full of philodendron rootings. And maybe, or other kinds or of Or other kinds. kinds. I kind of want one ivy and float rings. Mm -hmm. to grow ivy all the way up here. Yeah, that would be cool. Our pantry has food. Yes. Not a whole lot yet, but mm -hmm. the start. organization. Our fridge has some food. Not a whole lot, but a lot of fruits and veggies and produce and almond milks yep. and cashew milks. Yes, eventually we want to have like lemonade always. Yes. And then we're here, like we said, with butcher block three shelves with some yeah. cute displays. And Eve, we'll probably get her new bowls and the little mat there. Yeah. This bathroom has a little Halloween flair. We still have to get curtain, all that sort of stuff, but just a little Halloween fun. The second bedroom is still under wraps for now, but it will get better show, soon. Show them I put the bed together, slightly. So like we still have our, our bins and other things, but the bed is put together. Um, so yeah, we'll, we're gonna resituate that. And then my little desk, the table. I'm going to get all my stuff for the wedding situated tomorrow, so I'm all ready to go. Again, this is just like placeholders. But yeah, that's fancy. All of our wood, table, dresser, that, like we need to like spunk up. We need to like get in there refinish a little bit so it does look a little dingy but it'll when get, get better our, when we get our couch when we get our couch this bench is probably going to live in the front room the, the baby room the second bedroom yeah uh, but we'll probably reverse all this we're gonna we're gonna hang some some plants from the ceiling here yeah above our sectional the tv's probably one that's that, so that yeah. wall so this is just how it is for now for now and then evil we will stay outside on top of the couch yeah that's all right but for now i'm very oh, yeah. happy it's very functional. Yeah. Very clean, very organized. Yeah. And then our room again is just a little under the weather until we get our bed, but that'll be soon. Put the bench in here, move the dresser there. And dresser. the dresser. Closet. That lamp probably is not going to stay there, but we just need a little bit of light. Bathroom. This is just my meds that I'm continuing. I'm still taking a shot and estradiol every day. And again, like, well, we need to get like a mat and stuff. Mm -hmm. And the closet. We just have a lot of extra hangers because we got rid of so many clothes. We just gotta figure out where our coats are gonna go because we don't have our front hall closet anymore. Today's quote is by Frank A. Clark. If you find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead anywhere. Okay, put we're a ready comment for down, bed. Put a comment down below if you wanna see us go to Vancouver slash Squamish in August. It's puppy. I just looked up flights because so we're right out of the range for Google Flights. <laughs> but right now, if we got there a week before Squamish and left a couple days before Squamish, 50 miles, it would be like 600. Or after Squamish. Before. Oh, we got there before. Yeah, so it's leave not after, of course. <laughs> no, but like the dates aren't available to leave after yet. Gotcha, gotcha, so it's about $600 gotcha. for each of us. Okay. Well, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. She's ready for bed. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>